I know I'm off the fall, yeah, I know I know I'm moving real slow I know I got your hoes Guess not Last night, they put up on my nigga at the light like uh, Nice watch, run it Dance, Jimmy, yeah, yeah Motherfucking boy, you some thoughts. Back up in the stand once again. Alright, y'all, so. <sighs> the time has come. The time has come, my nigga. It's lit, nigga. It's fucking lit. It's fucking lit, nigga. I told you. Um, you guys have been asking for it. I've been very curious and very patient to wait to hear this album, but we are finally here, nigga. We made it. Nigga, we made it. Shit, what can I say? The prophet, the truth, the chosen one of Africa. Shane Eagle dropped his brand new debut album called Yellow. I believe he dropped it on Thursday. You know, I got a little corona right here, so hey, we gonna be litty again. All right, so you guys are probably just checking out my reaction video to Need Me featuring Kly. Um, that shit, yo, I was definitely feeling that track. I see it's here on the album as well. But yo, I see it's 13 tracks long. So, I mean, as far as just the album length, that's something I definitely appreciate. If an album's at least like 13 to 15 tracks, I'm cool with it. anything that's over that. I feel like it's a little bit too much. But yo, this shit right here should be perfect. Um, see the title of the tracks? Looks like it's gonna be something special. So, hey, of course, I've been talking way too fucking long. So, we're about to go ahead and get started. We got Shane Eagle. Yellow, first reaction video. Y'all niggas ready? Let's get it! Ah! Hey, y'all, I just realized that this is my first reaction video to an African hip-hop album. So this shit's legendary. Shit, it's Amusing Thoughts Day. Remember this day. All right, y'all, so I'm listening to this album on Spotify. So I'll actually put down the link to uh, where the album's located on Spotify in the description below. So I got y'all, no matter what. Hey, track number one, we got Yellow. Shit, the album name, so let's get it going. Hey. Or if he's where he's meant to be, he said, I am 70 years old and have lived my life. I am frail but not weak. Oh. I believe in the universe and the way it works. And the only way you can train your mind is if you free it first. You free it last. Yeah. Look, I've got a homie who received the biggest blessing of his life. Was too young to understand and thought this blessing was a man tossing and turning. Thoughts of this is haunting him at night Plus he just finished school Never met me but they feel like they know me That's how I feel Shane I feel you bro God damn man Hold up y'all Hold up Um So in my opinion Uh whenever I hear First track of an album That really determines how the album's gonna sound overall And hey That track was very deep he was telling a lot of truth on that, um, talking about his homie just graduating from college, not having his money right. I mean, hey, so I'm going through the same thing. I know what he's talking about, but, um, and then when you're saying, like, um, dying with potential, like, yo, that line right there kind of reminds me of Biggie and Pac. Like, they were only 24 and 25 years old when they got killed. And I mean, yo, you just saw how powerful they were. All just the opportunities and everything that they had coming for the world and then their life was taken too short but um, definitely fuck with Yellow Heavy definitely fuck with the album so far even though it's just been one song but hey we're gonna go ahead to the next track track number two we got intro and I thought that you know this song would be the very first song but let's see what he's talking about on here What's 
up, Shane? Hey. Hey, turn me up. Hey. Why does it feel like I'm crazy? freestyle on that track because um he was just taking me to a different realm like for real um i feel like what he was saying on that track he was either talking about like the day one woman in his life or he could have been talking about the hip-hop game i mean just saying that it's pushing him against the edge and everything and i mean she's been with him she or like actual she has been with them through it all through trials and tribulations definitely mess with that track um it's weird that he called it intro for the second track, but hey, I'm still fucking with this so far. He's two for two so far. I feel like he might go 13 for 13, but let's keep it going. On track number three, we got Strange. Let's see what he's talking about on this. Shit scared me, little kid. Yeah. I look up north when I pray to the skies. It's okay. funny when things go south. God never replies. Is he oh, testing wow. me? Huh? Is he blessing me? Huh? Check. We just modern day slaves. Oh, my mama feed the family off this minimum wage. Word. Low 20 racks that I made from being on stage. Hey, strange. Shit. That shit is strange. Look, I wear my heart on my sleeve. The same reason I'm still working towards this college degree. Oh, just waiting on my moment. No, it's all about the time. That time. Hey, nigga, you ugly. Yo, tell me this shit, Shane. Keep it going, nigga. Goddamn. Hey, me and my niggas is straight. We never fold up. 20 years old, my dreams are getting closer. Used to Ooh. talk about it, and now I'm living this shit. I put my heart on it. I hope y'all feeling this shit. I am, nigga. Now my day ones and I'm seeing niggas with their cameras out loud. Like, oh, shay, can you see? Hey, you the plug, bro. You the plug, Shay. It's lit. Got me moving my head back and forth. I can't even stop it. <laughs> Do you feel me now? Hey, looking at you like, what the fuck is going on between us? Shit, I don't know. But I want to make a little something go a little faster between us. You know what I mean? Let's take this shit to the next level. I'm looking at you like, damn, girl, be my missus. Muse. Hey. <laughs> shit. Where's that Mrs. Muse at? Let me know. Let me know. This is Amusing Thoughts. Where you at? You a gay ass nigga. Hey, I had fun with that track, y'all, but shit. On all seriousness, um, yo, Shane. Hey, Strange. Alright, so I think my favorite track so far, I'll either have this track at number one or Yellow. So for right now, I'm going to go Strange, Yellow, and Intro. So those are my top three thus far. But um, again, I just love the storytelling that he has on here. He has a little melody too, and when he's singing like on the chorus and everything, and hey, he's just a complete artist. Like so far, that's just what I've been capturing for him. That's what I've been observing. And shit, Shane Eagle, the sky is the limit for you, man. You're making all these other rappers look like nothing. So just keep on doing your thing, man. But hey, track number four, we got Can You See. Let's see what he's talking about on this. Hey, shit, I might need to smoke some trees for this song. Hold up. <laughs> Yeah. Uh oh. What's up? Yeah. Now this picture of life that is never right. Yeah, alcohol and emotions mixed late at night. Ooh. Yeah. We deal with haunted heights. Ooh. Yeah. They say God is about to call away. Uh huh. Feel like my signal's down and my battery died. He's so far away. Shit. Hey. My life Thanks. never came with a house tool manual. And God opened up doors for me that I was the beast and I was like that. Oh, nigga, he said he's number one. That's tight as hell. I'm with a bitch and she fine as hell. Yeah. Oh, so tell me, can you see? Oh, is that him right there, too? No, 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 no,
this nigga's killing me. Hey. I only feel alive when I'm taking this shit that's killing me. Wow. I'm gonna need a cure, but my knees just be productivity. Your hype is dying out, but I got talent for infinity. So oh. it's me. I feel like we've all gone through something like that, uh, whether it was over the phone, like talking on the phone or over text or even in person when they're like, you know, I always love you and everything, but I don't think it's going to work anymore. Like, damn, like. Hey, that shit. Yo, this song really got me in my feels for real, though. Even though I was looking like I was a little wet on that, at the same time, I was like, damn, like, I can really relate to this. I feel like Shane Eagle is one of those artists that, I mean, you can really relate to what he's saying. His lyrics are just that powerful for the mind, body, and soul. But, um, hey, fly, Eagle, fly. That's all I can say. Shane Eagle, you're doing your thing so far. I'm loving this project so far. We're not even halfway through it yet, but I'm very impressed. All right, y'all. So track number five is Need Me by Cly. Um, I'm not going to do another reaction video to this. Uh, if you guys want to see my reaction to this song, just check out my previous video uh, with Cly in it. But, hey, I definitely fucked with that song. Heavy, chill-ass vibe, soothing vibe. So, hey, much love to both y'all once again. All right, y'all. So for track number six, we got Privacy Interlude. Let's get it going. That was a dope ass interlude. Um, hey, I feel like this track, I feel like the only time you need to hear this track is if you're really high or if you're really drunk. You ain't never laughed. So let me know who's producing these tracks. Um, I don't know if it's him producing these or if he has a team and everything, but put that down in the comment section below. I want to find out who's producing these tracks. All right, y'all, so we're about halfway through the album already and track number seven we got On My Own. Let's get it going. tripping i've been asleep for the longest all right yo um i feel like so far besides the interlude track this was probably the banger song of the album so far i mean yo even though they've all been bangers but you know what i mean this is one of those tracks that like shit it'll get you pumped up and everything but um i fuck with that track on my own 
Hey, again, I can relate to this track. I can relate to all these tracks. But, yo, in my personal opinion, yo, this is just my opinion. I don't know how you all feel about this, but, hey, so far, he's 7 for 7 on these tracks. Like I said, we're halfway through the album already, and shit, this might be... Hey, I don't know, this could be album of the year. You never know. I'm fucking with this, though. All right, y'all, so for track number eight, we got Let It Flow. And you guys already know I did a reaction video to that the other day. So if you haven't seen my reaction video yet, go ahead and check on that video. I'll put both this video and the Need Me video down in the description below. I got you. Track number nine, we got Aliens and Convos with God. Now, that's a dangerous and weird-ass combination, but shit, let's see what he's talking about on this. Damn, this track's seven minutes long. Oh shit, That's the title of the song too. Well, half of it, but you know what I mean. This is giving me like those Drake Take Care vibes too. You know what I mean? Like this shit's just getting in your feels for real, the mind, body, and soul. Uh oh, B switch. Let's go. Oh. Yeah. This sounds familiar. Look. I talk to you, you don't talk back. I'm trying to find out where your heart's at. Yeah. I know you're real, I never doubt that. Hey. Conversations with God got me like. Oh. Conversations with God got me like. Oh. Yeah. Conversations with God got me like. Got my head spinning. Hey. Conversations being me about it. I read the Bible, I feel weird about it. Maybe when I see you, we can talk about it. And have all that be like. Hey, this song, they could be tear up, y'all. For real. God damn. Yeah, conversations with God. And I hope you don't think that I'm arrogant Looking for faith in these people and places Where you told me never to go and look there again Used to be close to you And now I'm so far from it Used to hear your voice daily And now I just run from it Yeah, I got no space around Damn, y'all This nigga's the freaking greatest nigga Thank y'all niggas, man Yo, um, hold on one second. Hey, for real, y'all, that track really brought tears to my eyes. Um, the reason why that did is, I mean, when he brought up his mom and everything, that, like, that made me think about my own mom. I'm sorry, y'all, my eyes, like, acting weird now, but, uh, no, that just really makes me think about what I've gotten through with my own family, my mom in particular, I mean, she's been struggling all her life to support me and my two brothers, but, uh, I mean, it was always, you know, low-income housing, but for me, uh, I always say I was the chosen one to make it out and everything, and, uh, I mean, I went through college, God bless, I graduated four months ago from K-State, and I mean, like you guys know, I live in KC Mo now, uh, pursuing a career at Free Delay, so I mean, hey, I'm becoming successful, and you know, doing YouTube now, so I mean, the shit's dope, but um, this track right here, this, this is probably my favorite Shane Eagle track, um, I mean, the first half of it, it was going pretty slow, to be honest with you. I didn't know if I was really going to like this track. 
I mean, the beat and everything was on point, but I mean, I was like, you know what? It's getting real repetitive and everything. But then when it switched to like the convos with God track, that shit hit home. Seriously, but um, Shane Eagle, man, if you ever check this video out, bro, this track right here, you're going to save people's lives, man. I mean, I'm sure you already are, but this track right here is special. Um, and I liked, again, how you really showcased your, your love and appreciation for God and having conversations with God. Not a lot of people, not a lot of rappers like to speak out on that a whole lot. It could, you know, a lot of times they think about their brand and everything. They don't want to uh, affect that and everything. But that's some real shit you just said right there. So I respect you for that, for real. All right, y'all. So for track number 10, we got M-I-H-I. Now, I'm not sure what that means. I'm not sure if that's an actor or not, but let's see what Shane Eagle's talking about on this track. Hey. Yo, again, I like his instrumentals. Like, for real, shit's next level. It makes you really think. Hey. Okay. This is hard work that hasn't been finished. I need to learn. I need to grow. I need some pain for my soul. Feeling even when you rich, things come with a charge. So when me and the fam was broke, we was living at large. Hey, they drop a punchline, they think they punch everybody. Nigga. But sometimes it's not the hands that touch everybody. It's the words from the soul. A smile from my grandma in the morning make me whole. Nigga! I saw a package, nigga. And I got the rest of it. Y'all remember that? Weed all day. When I'm rocking a suit, she spends hours being a rose when I'm in love. Okay. All right, y'all. So, M I H I, uh, another impactful track. Really makes me inspired. Like I was saying before, the beat and everything. Before he even started rapping, I was just feeling so inspired. Like I want to do so much for the world. But, uh, I mean, when he really just started talking about, uh, you know, just. Uh, people doubting him and everything and what he's been able to do and where he's going still with his music career and just his life in general. I mean, hey, he's just letting y'all know that he's arrived and he's going to be here for a long ass time. But um, like I said before, this album has been something special. You guys, of course, have been right saying that this album is just something special. Um, shit. We're 10 for 10, we got three more tracks to go, and so far, this shit is just, in my opinion, this shit's perfection. Alright, y'all, so for track number 11, we got Winter. Let's get it going. Alright, let me do this before he starts rapping, hold up. Hey. The f you looking at? Before I put my review on this track right here, let me say a few things about Shane Eagle that I've noticed. Um, one thing that I like about Shane Eagle on his tracks is that he, after he gets done rapping and everything, or just, you know, doing whatever he's doing on the track, he lets the beat ride for like 30 seconds at least. And a lot of rappers don't do that anymore. A lot of times they just keep on doing their thing, rapping and rapping and everything, telling a story, and then they just stop right when the beat stops. But he lets the beat ride, and that shit, hey, I really mess with that. It gives, like, that old-school feel to it. Like, 
Um, it really gives out the true vibes of the track. And speaking of true vibes of the track, um, Shane Eagle, you can when he raps and everything, you can tell how much emotion he puts into his lyrics. Like you can hear it when he's rapping. Like the shit's just so authentic. Not a lot of artists that I even hear anywhere is on this level. And hey, again, if he's producing these beats too, this man's on another level. Like hey, like Sway said. You whack rappers. I'd say so far for this album, my favorite tracks, you already know, Aliens and Convos with God, uh, Winter that we just listened to, Yellow, Strange, well shit, the whole fucking album. But you know what I mean, you catch my drift. But hey, we're at the second to last track and it's Dingo. Now, when I think of Dingo, I think of... Boy, if you don't get... Nah, but uh, let's go ahead and get started on this track though. so cool um, all right yo uh, another track right there that definitely hits the soul gives that uh, authentic feel to it um, I'm guessing that dingo stands for dreams in the ghetto but hey the shit's so fucking dope I'm telling y'all um, I'm just about to hit the last track, but I mean, this man is on another level. When he was talking about how he can switch the flow up while he was switching the flow up, man, I'm telling y'all, if y'all are sleeping on this man, niggas wake up, man. This man is coming. Now you know I love my nigga, my twin, Nasty C. <laughs> but hey, this man right here is coming, for real. I mean, he's already arrived, but this album right here, bruh. This shit, he better win some awards for this shit. If he doesn't, I'm going to Africa, even though I'm going there anyways. But I'm going down there, and I'm going to say something to these fucking uh, award makers. Because this shit, hey, for real. Alright, y'all, so for the 13th and final track, we got Empty Highway. Shit, I'm sad the album's about to end, but let's see what he's talking about on this. Cheesecake, I love cheesecake at night. First fucking probably I'll be making a lot of hey, Take them fake chains off, dog. Oh, it's <gasps> if you say so, dog. <gasps> got the gamma. Hey, is that a saxophone? What is that? Damn, that shit sounds beautiful. Man, the only thing that I wanted on that track was that he would have spit another verse. That shit sounded like a classic track, for real. Um, I liked when he was talking this shit. I liked when he brought up the mumble rappers, like talking about their 
um, projected like sales and everything where really that shit doesn't matter. I mean, it matters to them obviously because they're getting money and everything, but as far as just true music goes, it's not shit. I mean, you already know that streaming music now is just a new way to to get music. Like, I mean, as far as like, you know, copies and all that being sold for the rappers and everything, but um, I like what he said on that. I like how he brought that out. And, bruh, I mean, even if he doesn't sell a lot of records, this nigga's still on top. This nigga's different. I'm trying to tell y'all, this nigga's different. Um, but yo, let me go ahead and talk about this album real quick. Yellow. Um, man, let me be real with y'all. It's been a minute since I've done a reaction video to a full album. I didn't know how I'd be reacting to the whole album. Uh, for those of y'all who watched this whole video, much love to y'all. You already know, hashtag amusing thoughts all day, every day. But, man, just hearing this content, um, he, yo, it reminds me of listening to my own favorite artists. Like, just the way that his quality is on the tracks. Like, for me, quality over quantity all day. Um, but, yo, each song has its own purpose, has its own meaning to the whole, uh, you know, perspective of the album. And, yo, I mean, like I've been saying, this album, in my opinion, this album just really portrays who he is, the struggles, and, you know, just the, the grind that he's had to go through in order to be where he is right now and where he's going in the future because I feel like this album is going to set the bar for a lot of other rappers down in Africa and I mean shit all over the world in general but this shit's gonna get him to the top in my opinion this shit is quality ass music and I mean the singles that he put out before the album even dropped I feel like they were good singles to put out cause I feel like if he would've put out Aliens uh, Convos with God that would've been weird I mean you know how these uh, companies are with certain names of songs. I feel like they wouldn't have taken them serious with that track. But hey, if they would have listened to the track, then they would have been like, oh shit, this needs to be a single. But I feel like, uh, what, what else could have been a single? I feel like Strange could have been a single or even Yellow. I mean, the title of the album. But um, long story short though, this album, from the albums I've listened to, I feel like this album, uh, Joey Badass, All American Badass, you know, already know, Kendrick Lamar, Damn, and yo, even Vince Staples, uh, Fish Theory. Yo, those are my favorite albums thus far this year. Um, but yo, this one right here, Yellow, this shit, hey, he wasn't playing around with this album, and the fact that he's only 20 years old doing this shit, nigga, I'm two years older than this nigga, but hey, good music. All day, every day, real recognizes real. And Shane Eagle, again, if you ever check out this video one day, yo, I'm rooting for you. I'm all the way in KC Mo, Kansas City, Missouri, in the US. And shit, you got me inspired by listening to your music thousands and thousands of miles away from where you're at. But man, hey, I fuck with you heavy. And everybody, please let me know what you think about the album down in the comment section below. If you wanna, uh, Ask me personally what else I think about the album. Follow me on my Twitter. I just got back on the Twitter, but here's my Twitter name right here. You can either DM me or whatever, but shit, everybody, if you haven't done so already, please buy this motherfucking album. Again, I'm going to put down the link in the description below to buy this album. Shit, I hope he has physical copies of this album, because if he does, I'm buying this shit. I need a hard copy. I only buy classic CDs, so this shit, in my opinion, is a classic, but... Hey, Shane Eagle, wherever you're at, man, if you're touring right now or whatever, I'm going to check you out one day. I'm going to be in South Africa next year. Shit, I'm going to be in Africa next year, so, hey, I hope that we can link up one day, but much love to you, bro, and shit, God bless. You know, motherfucker. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this YouTube video. Of course, we have more videos on the way, whether it's more reaction videos, vlogs, and also pranks, so be on the lookout for that. Hey, if you guys are brand new to my YouTube channel, if you've done so already, hit that subscribe button down below. I got videos coming every day or every other day, so the guys to stop people, I'm gonna be on YouTube for a long ass time. Motherfucker. All right, so all my subscribers out there, please hit that post notifications button down below. 
Uh, that'll give you alerts when I post my next YouTube video. And so you know they're gonna be litty as ever. So hey, please hit that for me. You know, amusing thoughts all day. Hashtag amusing thoughts. Hashtag amusing squad. Hey, if you guys enjoyed this YouTube video, hit that share button down below. Share with your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, your family, your friends. Share your computer, your car, your aunt Sally, your uncle John. Share to share with your whole community as a whole. Hey, be sure to share with the whole world as well. These videos and this music more importantly needs to go viral. Shit, people all over the world need to hear this type of music. This shit will definitely get your spirits up. And hey, you guys already know that music is so universal. It makes the world go around. And shit, I cherish music so much. And I just want the whole world to be able to hear this. And just really take it in the same way I take it in. Because hey, uh, having music in our lives, you know, that's just a powerful part of who we are as a whole. And hey, please keep on sharing this music. People need to hear this for real, but hey, much love to y'all. And if you guys also enjoyed this YouTube video, hit that like button down below. Put some comments down too for things you liked about the video, things you didn't like about this video, or other YouTube video topics or reaction videos I should do in the future. Team news all day, every day. Don't you guys ever forget it. And one more thing, y'all. Peace, love, and soul. Let's get it. Ah! Rich so icy, wonder why she like me, bitch. I'm drowning in water. I just bought a Cuban, dipped it in a fountain. Everywhere that I go, it's a light show. I'm surrounded. Surrounded, bust down, bust down, bust down, bust down, bust down.